look, this is quite transformative in for large parts of the personal services, hospitality and leisure industry, uh, which makes a disproportionate size of the UK economy. But there is something that was unsaid in Parliament yesterday, probably more Rishi Sunak, the Chancellor's agenda, which this presents a challenge of whether the businesses that are allowed to reopen can operate with profitable economics uh, as they do so, because ongoing social distancing means less footfall, means less pass-through covers in restaurants, and whether these businesses are viable is the big challenge facing the government over the next six months as it looks to withdraw economic support. Early doors, I know, but what does the reopening of shops tell us at this point uh, in terms of the, the so-called pent-up demand argument? Look, it's a really good question because we've done a lot of segmentation in our analysis of forced savers, people who've had their demand constrained and have latent spending power, versus those who are precautionary savers, they're nervous about their employment prospects. Uh, and then also, of course, the forced borrowers who've had their incomes impaired. Uh, overall, we think the UK consumer has generally had their incomes largely protected by the state to have the spending power. I think what would be more interesting whether they will use that spending power or be concerned as things like the job retention scheme, the furloughing scheme, come to an end in the autumn, whether they're concerned about their long-term job prospects, concerned about the long-term economic prospects, and therefore hold back some significant precautionary balances. Savings ratio here is key. As well as, I guess, many of those uh, furloughed workers keeping their jobs. Uh, I see lots of different estimate Simon but for the record what do you guys at Pamela Gordon think how many of those workers on furlough will actually go back to their jobs Right, so we've we've seen about just over 9 million Britons who've gone through furlough, but we think at the moment the current run rate of furloughed workers is around 6 million. Now, of those 6 million, somewhere between a million and a million and a half, we think will we'll struggle to find uh, immediate employment. Now, a large number of those people will find employment in other parts, but what I, we think overall the UK unemployment will spike to around 3 to to three and a half million before starting to come down fairly rapidly as the economy starts to adapt to social distancing. Indeed, hopefully, social distancing comes to an end. It'll be a faster jobs recovery, but we certainly won't be down to post uh, sort of sub four percent like we were pre COVID until well into 2023, in our view.